Dear students, in the last class, we discussed about selection rules in electronic spectroscopy and we saw how to apply principles of group theory in determining orbital selection rule. In this class, let's see about spin selection rule and Laporte selection rule. Next is the spin selection rule. The electronic wave function xi for a molecule actually consists of contributions from the orbital component xi0 and the spin component xi s. Therefore, the total electronic wave function can be written as the product of orbital and spin wave functions. That is xi equals psi o into psi s. And hence, the expression for transition moment mfi may be written as mfi equals integral xi i o mu xi f o d2 into integral xi i s psi f s into d2. Here, psi i and psi f represents the initial and the final state wave functions. The O and S subscripts denote the orbital and spin components of the wave functions. Since the electric dipole moment or transition moment operator mu does not interact with the electron spin, it does not appear in the integral for the spin component, that is, integral xi i, xi f, s, d2. So consider the integral portion for the spin wave functions. Integral psi i s psi f s into d2. Now for this integral to be non-zero, the direct product of the two wave functions psi i and psi f, psi i s into psi f s should contain the totally symmetric representation a1. Now for the direct product to be totally symmetric, that is possible only if psi i and psi f span the same symmetry species. In other words, the initial and the final wave functions should have the same overall spin quantum number s. Or we can say that an electronic transition is allowed only if delta s equals 0 so that the initial and the final states possesses the same spin multiplicity 2s plus 1. If the spin wave functions are orthogonal, that is if delta s is not equal to 0, the symmetry of the transition will not be totally symmetric and therefore the transition will be forbidden. And hence, the spin selection rule may be stated as transitions between states with different spin multiplicities are forbidden. That is delta s not equal to 0, then it will be a forbidden transition. And if there is no change in the spin quantum number, delta s is equal to 0, then that will be an allowed transition. Or we can also say that singlet to singlet or doublet to doublet, triplet to triplet transitions are spin allowed, while singlet to triplet or doublet to quartet transitions, all those transitions are spin forbidden. The final selection rule is the Laporte selection rule or parity selection rule. Now, this is the rule which applies only to electric dipole transitions in centrosymmetric molecules. Centrosymmetric means groups which contain an inversion center I. In groups containing I, the Mulliken symbol for each irreducible representation contains either G or U as a subscript. Now, these subscripts G and U represent the parity which designates the symmetry properties with regard to inversion. G means Gerard, meaning even, and U is ungerard, meaning uneven. Now, for any electric dipole transition, the transition dipole moment is given by, we have seen earlier, MFI is equal to integral psi i mu k psi f d to, where k is x, y or z representing the three directions. For mfi to be non-zero, that is 
to be an allowed transition. In the case of a molecule with center of symmetry, the orbital selection rule states that the direct product of the three components, xi i, mu, xi f, should span the totally symmetric species, that is a g or a 1 g. For a centrosymmetric molecule, the symmetry characteristic of mu, that is electric dipole moment, which spans the symmetry species same as that for Cartesian coordinate x, y or z, always have a u representation. That is the transition moment or electric dipole moment operator mu will always span a u representation. Now here we can see the direct products of g and u. g into g will give you g. u into u will give you g. g into u and u into g will give a u representation. So we can say that for the direct product xi i mu xi f to span a g species, the direct product of xi i into psi f, that is the direct product of the two wave functions, must also span the same u species as that of mu because mu always have a u representation. For this, among psi i and psi f, one has to be g and the other u. Thus, for electric dipole transition to be allowed, the wave functions for the initial and the final states cannot span symmetry species that are both G or both U. This result is expressed in the form of selection rule called Laput selection rule or parity selection rule. It states that for a centrosymmetric molecule, the electric dipole transitions between states of same parity are forbidden. That is G to G or U to U. G to G means the initial state is G and the final state is G. U to U means the initial state is U, the final state is U. Such transitions will be forbidden transitions. Whereas G to U or U to G will be allowed transitions. So according to Laput selection rule, in a centrosymmetric molecule, transitions between two Gerard or two ungerard states, that is G to G and U to U transitions, are forbidden and only G to U and U to G transitions are allowed.